tell you about. I've been holding them in. I didn't want to... I didn't want to tell you in the beginning because I didn't want to be messy. You know, I didn't want to get in between yours and Jasmine's relationship. But I knew that she was doing this, this, and that. I just didn't want to tell you this because, you know, I don't want to get involved. But then she goes, but what Jasmine did tonight, it, it was the last straw. It was, it, was, um, it was too far, so I need to call you. I need to let you know. And I'm like, bro, like, first and foremost, I'm already fucking like, holy shit, did I just get a call that Jasmine's, whatever. So long story short, I guess this has been happening since fucking August. Guys, we're in fucking February, bro. <laughs> we're in February, bro. So since August, I guess Jasmine has been cheating on me and hooking up with her ex behind my back. They used to work at the same spot. They used to work at the restaurant together. So everyone at that restaurant knew because that guy still works there. So he would tell them, I mean, yo, I'm hooking up with this, this and that. No one from over there fucking decided to tell me because they said, oh, we didn't want to make it messy between you and Jasmine. We didn't want to get in between you guys. So then when I'm talking to his new girl, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? why didn't you tell me before? What made you tell me now? And she goes, well, the reason I'm telling you now is because Jasmine came into the fucking restaurant that that her ex works at and wanted to go talk to him. And so that's where his new girl was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> don't you have a man? Like, leave my man fucking alone. Like, what the fuck? So that's why she called me. But she's like, yo, this isn't the first thing she's done. Her coming into the restaurant to try to talk to him isn't the first thing she's done. She's been hooking up with him for months and months and months, but we didn't want to tell you. And I'm like, what the fuck? So then she also sent me a screenshot that Jasmine sent, or hold on, okay, let me, let me not skip steps. So I'm on the phone call. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, are you fucking serious? Like, Obviously, I'm furious. I'm full of emotion. Like, I just found out my girlfriend of almost a year and a half has been cheating on me for months and months and months while living in my fucking house rent free, sleeping in my fucking bed, looking me in the eyes, telling me that you love me. I'm paying for all her shit, paying for her food, paying for her everything. She's living off me, bro, while cheating on me. And um, apparently, I'm guessing this is when she would go cheat on me is when um, because she goes to school two days a week and she would tell me like, um, hey, babe, uh, my house is closer to my school. So I'm going to go spend the night at my house the days before I got school. So she would go home two times a week and I wouldn't question it like, yeah, you're in school, educated, you know, educated fucking princess. Go do your thing. Go sleep at home. Little did I know where the fuck she was going. You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, and then, bro, to make, to make everything crazy, I'm already, like, flipping out at this point. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know, damn, like, I've been getting cheated on, like, whatever. And then uh, I get a screenshot. Jasmine sends her ex a DM. And she uses her sister's Instagram account because um, I never went through Jasmine's phone. I'm not that type of person. I don't go through people's phones. You're just setting yourself up for a disaster if you go through people's phones. But maybe she thought I'd go through her phone. So she used to use her sister's Instagram to co uh, contact her ex so that I would never see it in case I ever uh, went through her Instagram. So she used to use her sister's. So for sisters in this live, fuck you because I've done a lot for you too. Her sister has a fucking room in this house, in my house. Her sister has her own fucking bed and her own separate room because of how many times she would spend the night, how many times she would sleep over. So fuck you for, for you know, covering up for your sister like that. Her sister used to come here. Jasmine used to tell me, babe, my sister's bored at home. She has nothing to do. Can she come here and hang out with us? I'm like, yeah. I order her food. Her food is ready on this fucking table by the time she even walks in. If, if her sister didn't want to, you know, uh, hop in an Uber and drive back home or get in an Uber and go back home because her sister doesn't even drive for some reason. She's like 20 or 21 years old. She still doesn't drive. I would get her an Uber back home, pay for it myself. But just in case she didn't want to get in an Uber because it was late or whatever, she had her own fucking room in my house. Bro, none of my family even has a room in this house. None of my friends have a room in this house. And her sister had a room in this house.
fucking house. So fuck you, Jasmine's sister, for covering up for fucking Jasmine. But anyways, what the message read that Jasmine sent her ex um, from her sister's account. And it was in Spanish. Uh, this guy doesn't speak English. And Jasmine doesn't speak Spanish. So it makes it, I don't understand. She uses like a translator to talk to him. So I don't like whatever, bro. So she sends him a message in Spanish. And I obviously have this person translate it for me because I don't speak Spanish. But she goes pretty much, um, hey, please listen to me. Keep in mind, guys, Jasmine is fucking dating me. She's sleeping in my fucking bed. She's scratching my back, telling me she loves me and she wants to marry me. But she's sending her ex a message in Spanish that translates to, um, baby, if I don't send you this message, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. I just want to tell you you're my true love. I dream about you every day. You're the love of my life. Blah, blah, blah. Bro, I'm fuming at this point. I'm fuming at this point, bro. Imagine, imagine I'm finding all this fucking shit out, bro. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. And then apparently there was a text just to prove that she would sleep with him. Uh, she texted his mom and she's like, hey, um, thank you for letting me stay at your house. I'm like, bro. So number one, that confirms that you was fucking sleeping at his house. And number two, you wouldn't even text my mom. <laughs> you didn't even have a relationship with my mom, but you were texting your ex's mom. Thank you for letting me stay at your crib so you could get fucked on by your ex while you were dating me. But you can't text my mom. Thank you for the fucking life that you were living with me, bro. Yeah, it was just a crazy phone call I got. And then it came with the proof. And it's funny, though, because when I, I called Jasmine, like, yo, what the fuck? She instantly hung up in my face and blocked me, bro. How much more guilty can you be? She didn't even fucking say a word. Instantly hung up in my face and blocked me right after. I think I answered and I was like, I was like, you dirty hoe or some shit like that, bro. I, I said some wild shit and she just, she just blocked me and then... Instead, I don't even get an apology. I don't even get, I don't get like, a, you know, her taking accountability. I don't get her like, Brandon, yes, I cheated. I'm so fucking sorry. You have the proof. So please, like, I, I'm so sorry I hurt you. Instead, I get blocked. She deletes her whole Instagram account because she was getting a shit ton of hate. And then she hops on TikTok to try to expose me. For some weird shit that she used to record when we would argue. And I'm thinking to myself, what kind of pre-planned, like, who records, like, she used to record shit from months ago behind my back. I didn't even know she had a second phone. And now it all makes sense. She was fucking cheating on me. So she used to try to make me mad and record me in anger so that if she ever got caught up for cheating, this was her plan. Oh, uh, I got exposed for cheating. So instead of owning up and taking accountability, I'm just going to post Brandon yell at me. But it's crazy because in those phone calls, she would talk super calm and she would she would like say things to um make me more angry, to make my blood boil just so she could have better content, just so she could have better recordings. And I never knew... Bro, oh my God. And it was just like a whole plan. It was a whole plan of her getting all these recordings because she knew she was cheating on me. So it was like a backup. Okay, if Brandon is going to expose me for cheating one day, if he ever finds out, well, I'm, I'm stocked up on these recordings of him yelling. You know what I mean? And I'm like, bro, yeah, you forced me to fucking, like, she would manipulate the fuck out of me, like, uh, to make me yell, like just to have more content. It was crazy. And then not to mention, this is where I fucking drew the line. This is where it was crazy. My dog one time bit Jasmine. Okay, you guys know Booker. He gets super excited, super playful. He fucking, look at this. He's, <laughs> he's just a fucking, whatever. He's a hyper ass dog. So one time he bit Jasmine. Uh, he bit her on her thigh. She was like bleeding. Um, and then whatever, bro. She, she sent me texts like, oh, I can't believe your dog bit me. Whatever. I, I, I like, 
I wasn't mad. I was like, damn, yeah, I feel bad. You know, my dog fucking bit her. But then yesterday, she posted stories of that cut and her bleeding and said that I physically abused her. And thank God I had the text from her where she said, um, oh, I'm, I'm bleeding. Your dog bit me, whatever. Because if I didn't have those texts, this bitch tried to fucking ruin my life and lie and lie about fucking me abusing her. You don't fucking lie about that shit, bro. People really go through that shit. People get sent to jail for that shit. People have lifelong trauma because they actually go through that. And you got caught up cheating and you didn't want to fucking admit it. You didn't want to own up to it. So you fucking lied on my name and tried to make me out to be a fucking physical. I just, bro, honestly, I just can't fucking believe it. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on here because I know last night my live was just based on just pure emotion. I was speaking with a lot of anger and, um, and you know, maybe a lot of things like just came out just just very like, whatever, like just in an angry way. So I wanted to hop on here now that it's the next day and just kind of like, just be a little bit more calm and just tell you guys exactly how it happened, how I got the phone call, how I got the proof, um, her messaging him from her sister's account, uh, her messaging his mom saying, thank you for letting me stay at your house. Um, her going to his fucking work to try to see him while he has a woman. He's in a relationship. So not only did she cheat on me, but this fucking homewrecker tried to tried to ruin another relate. Like what kind of fucking heartless ass she fucking homewrecker? Like holy shit. This guy's in a fucking relationship. It's bad enough she was like, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Someone is asking, how did that girl get your number? It's because Jasmine used to work at that restaurant. This girl was Jasmine's friend. They all worked. They all used to work together. They all used to work together. Fucking crazy, bro. But in a in a weird way, like... I mean, I, I'm not saying I'm glad this happened. Oh, by the way, I've never said this, but I mean, I guess I'll just say it now that we're like spitting out the truth. I was giving this fucking girl money every single fucking month. And I'm talking thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> I never, I never, uh, I never put it out there because I told her like, you know what, Jasmine, like I'll take care of you low key. You don't need to look like a, you know, you don't need to look like a fucking whatever. Like I'll take care of you. I'll, I'll cover your bills and all that. And you don't got to let nobody know. You don't even have to let your mom know. You don't have to tell nobody. Giving this girl thousands of dollars. And I didn't mind doing it. I didn't mind if she was the one for me. But now that I find out that she was fucking cheating on me. Yeah, let's put it out there. I was paying her thousands of fucking dollars every month like a salary. And she still fucking did this to me, bro. While living in my house under my roof rent fucking free. Never paid for shit. Food never paid for. This never paid for. That never paid for. Nails, hair, gas. I never let her fucking pay for her own gas. And getting paid like a salary on top of that. And still got cheated on, bro. Thousands of dollars every month. Never. I told her, I said, baby, it's okay. I'll take care of you. And I don't need to brag about it. I don't, we don't need to make a YouTube video saying I'm taking care of you. You don't got to tell your mom. You don't got to tell your friends. We can keep it low key. And no one has to know. <laughs> That's crazy though. Like it didn't even really hit me till like this morning where I'm like, damn, not only did she kill our relationship, cheating and shit. But she ruined another, like, she's a homewrecker, bro. Like, she went, this guy, the, her ex is in a new relationship, and she's trying to fucking, whatever. And yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to go get fucking tested, bro. I need to go get tested, bro. I was clean for a year, only hooking up with one fucking girl. One girl, which was her, Jasmine. Every other girl, 
Every other girl in my life, when when me and Jasmine started dating, I cut all of them off, bro. I was only hooking up with one girl. I'm clean. Now I know she's hooking up with fucking this dude and me. And this other dude has a girl. So now I don't know where the fuck all this nasty ass shit is fucking coming from. Now I got to go fucking get tested because of her nasty ass. Fucking dirty ass fucking... Crazy, bro. You could give you could give a bitch anything, bro, and everything in the world, bro. You could treat her like a princess, homie, and they still don't give a fuck. Crazy, bro. <laughs> but yeah, guys. That's how I that's how I found out was from a phone call late last night at like um 3 a.m. or like 3:30 a.m. It was super late. Was not expecting that at all, bro. At all. I was surprised it with flowers all the time. They were called uh no reason flowers or some fucking bullshit. It was just flowers just cuz she was my girl. You know what I mean? I was fucking doing this for her, doing that for her. I never, ever used to used to go to restaurants that I want. I would always be like, babe, what do you want to eat? You know, happy wife, happy life. What do you want to eat? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? I'll drive. You want to go here? I'll drive. You don't need to drive. You're a passenger princess, right, babe? All that. All while paying her, giving her money, paying for her shit. Not to mention, bro, she's living, she's living here, like, rent-free, bro, like, it's just crazy, bro, it's crazy what you could do for somebody and just fucking, yeah, bro, I don't know, man, it's just crazy, but thank fucking God I found out um, right now, because I'm telling you guys right now, as stupid as this sounds, like, I was... Bro, I was close to putting a ring on that thing. I had a serious ass talk with her. Beginning of the year, it was in January, like literally a month ago. And I sat her down, sat her down and I was like, yo, Jasmine, like between me and you, I'm coming to you as a man and I'm just letting you know, I don't want to enter 2025 just as boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, like hopefully if we make the right steps, um... You know, hopefully you can have a ring on that finger in a couple months. This year, this year, that was in January. So thank God, thank God that this shit, the truth came to light this early because I swear I was this close to fucking like putting a ring on that finger and that girl would have taken half my shit, half my shit real quick, bro. God gave me a crazy sign. God gave me a crazy sign, bro. Who called me? It's it's the guy she was hooking up with. It's his new girl. She called me. She's like, yo, I never wanted to call you, but enough is enough. Your girl Jasmine keeps blowing my fucking man's phone up. Your girl Jasmine is coming into his work to see him. Your girl Jasmine is messaging his mom. So she just got fucking fed up. She's like, this has been happening. We all been knowing. Everyone that works at that restaurant knows. But we didn't want to tell you because we didn't want to make shit messy. We didn't want to snitch. We didn't want to get involved in your relationship. It's been happening, fam. This shit's been going on. They said since August, September, October. That's six months, homie. Six fucking months. Well, I cut out every girl in my life. Every girl, no matter who it was, no matter who it was, friend, exes, rightfully so. You know what I mean? You should. If you get in a relationship, you should cut out previous girls you've messed with. Or so I thought. Someone should have let homegirl know that before she got in a relationship with me, right? I thought it was common sense. You feel me? You get in a new relationship, (laughs) you cut off your exes, right? Or no, maybe that's just like, I'm just tripping, you know? Guys, I'm going to hop off this live, bro, because I want to watch this fucking Suns game. It's so shady. Oh, one last thing I wanted to say, too, because this just goes to show what kind of fucking girl she was. 
So fucking cringe, bro. So fucking cringe. So remember how I took her to Hawaii and I took her to Cabo, took her to Vegas, took her to all these vacations that she had never seen before. Um, she posted, obviously, Instagram pictures when we went on those va vacations, like, you know, Instagram slides and some of them were selfies um, of her. Some of them were me and her together, me kissing her. Bro, look how, what a fucking clout chaser this is. Uh, when I When I broke up with her, so me, after we broke up, I deleted all of our posts. Straight up, I deleted all of our posts. For her, she fucking went to like the vacation posts and she only trashed the slides that I was in. But she kept up the posts of the selfies of her and the aesthetic view of Hawaii and, and, and the Mexico view. She kept those up. But she trashed, she deleted the slides I was in as to show, yo, sorry, I am not going to delete these posts. They got likes. They got a lot of likes and a lot of comments. So I'm not going to delete them. But since we did break up, I'm just going to delete the posts you were in. As to make it seem like she like, she wanted to make it seem like she took herself on those trips or something. I don't know. I'm like, someone tell homegirl to fucking delete those pictures. I paid for all those trips. I took you on all those trips. I tatted your fucking passport. We broke up. You cheated on me. Delete those fucking posts, homie. Someone let her know. Someone let her know. But now she deleted her whole fucking... Uh, she deleted her whole fucking account, bro. She was getting so much hate. So she deleted her whole IG. But you know what? You guys are dumb. I don't mean to say that in a bad way, but a lot of people are like... Oh, she took down her IG because um, she was getting hate. No, listen to me. I know this girl more than anyone on this fucking world. I know her like the back of my hand. She didn't delete her um, IG because she was getting hate. Look at what a fucking cloud chaser girl this is and how strategic she is. Once I went on live and started exposing her, she started losing followers. She started losing a lot of followers. So you know what she fucking did? She deactivated her account because you can't lose followers if people don't see it. And then when all this boils down in like two weeks, three weeks, she's going to fucking uh, put her account back up and her followers are still going to remain the fucking same. Because uh, like imagine right now she would have been losing hella followers. She's smart. She's fucking smart. She cares about this shit, this clout shit. She cares about that shit. So she deactivated just so she doesn't fucking lose. And when all this boils over, when the wind, when, when, when this stops being a big deal, she's going to reactivate her account. Remember me fucking saying that. And she's going to have the same amount of followers. Remember me fucking saying that. Watch. Watch. She's smart, bro. I'll give it to her. She got away with cheating for months and months and months. And I never knew. But yeah, guys, I'm going to hop off. I just wanted to, you know, just hop on here and let you guys know.